Hi everybody and welcome back to this short workout focusing on posture, back mobility and back strengthening exercises. I hope you will enjoy this routine and you will feel better and more upright after that. So let's get started in a seated position facing towards the short edge of your mat. Find the sitting bones, keeping your feet parallel to each other and open up your chest nice and upright. You can do a couple of shoulder shrugs, moving the shoulders backwards and downwards away from your ears. A few times, then from here, dropping the shoulders away and gently tilting the pelvis backwards and forward. Keep that upright position and move only from your pelvis from the lower back mobilizing your lower back down we're gonna add the mid back moving down towards the ground gradually into c-shape cult position open up the chest roll forward and backwards a couple of times using your tummy muscles try and switch on the pelvic floor muscles even Activating your core, actively moving your lower back backwards and forward. Good job. Keeping the shoulders away from your ears so we have long neck. Forward again, roll back, hold that position, reach with your right arm sideways down, reach with the left arm, sideways down, hold that C-shaped cult position, tummy active, drawing the lower ribs down towards your hips, then I'm going to reach both arms up and over, extend your back, take a deep inhalation, move the shoulders away from your ears and then slowly lower the sacrum down, circle the arms around your side, then reach forward over your knees, then over your head again. Roll back, opening the arms, then circling forward, reaching towards the front, then over your head. Repeat a few times. Gently mobilizing your back, opening up the chest into that nice upright vertical posture position. Good. We're going to have one more. Reach. Then as you tilt your pelvis backwards next time, pop your hands together, then lower your hands down in front of your chest. Add a bit of a rotation towards the right, keeping your thighs parallel and towards the left. Then center, right again, adding a bit of a twist towards the left. One more each side, right and the left. Back to the center, reach up and over, extend your back, then slowly lower your arms round, popping your hands behind your pelvis. Close your feet, sip your legs together, then tilt your knees towards the left, opening up the chest towards the right side, then other way around. Add a bit of a twist, gentle rotation, within a comfortable range to start with. Maybe starting the smaller movement side to side. Look away from your knees. Open up the chest. Then center. So the knees are moving towards the right. Chest opening towards the left. Looking over the left shoulder. Another way around. Open and center. Open and center. One more each side. Gentle rotation. Other way around. Then move back to that center position. Great job. Reach forward with your arms. 
tilt the pelvis and gradually lower your sacrum. Lower back, mid back, upper back, towards the ground, slowly lowering your back down. If you need to, you can uh, grab your thigh or lower your arms or gently roll over your side. It's more comfortable. Fold the knees. Move your heels a little closer, tummy engaging. Down, we're going to pick up the right knee up above the hip. Then the left knee as well into single tabletop position. So continue with your Abdu series, pop your hands behind your head, tummy engaging, and now I'm going to twist towards the right hip, then center, floating the head and chest and towards the left side, then lower, little lift, then lower, little lift, then lower a few times. It's optional to add a bit of a leg extension towards the front, opposite leg reaching away, then center. So we're gonna twist towards the right knee, extending the left leg, then other way around, keeping the elbows nice and wide open, so reach, then center, reach, and center, we're gonna have one more each side. Then slowly move back in a center position, cuddling your knees towards your chest. Lower your head down on that small little pillow you prepared. Take a deep inhalation, long exhalation. Lower your legs one foot at a time. Then move that small cushion away or lowering your hat position a little bit further down till the pelvis underneath lift your hips off the ground. Bone by bone at a time, squeezing the glutes. Keep your lower back nice and long. Hold the position for deep inhalation. Then long exhalation, slowly lower back down. Good. We're going to reach with the right arm as you lift your hips off the ground. Hold and press the back of your hand and the palm of your left into the mat. Hold. Then exhale, release, lower the arm. Add a way around. Scoop the pelvis. Lift your hips off the mat, keep the pelvis tucked under, reaching with the left arm, fingertips reaching away from each other, then slowly lower back down. Next one, we're going to lift both arms up and over, hold for a deep inhalation, Long exhalation, we're going to lower that back down, but we're going to keep the arms over our head. Keep pressing the back of your hand into the ground, and then lower. Fold, roll your hips up again. Then as you lower down, Lower your arms as well, opening the arms side to side, gently tilting the knees towards the left, rolling your head towards the right side. Deep inhalation, long exhalation, I think a little bit of a twist. You can move that small cushion back underneath your head just to align your stuff better in terms of your neck and upper back. And release. A few more. Reach the fingertips away from your knees, anchoring your shoulders. And then center, other side. 
and release. You can even extend the top leg in the line of your thigh, creating a huge part of the X, a nice diagonal line with your arm, torso and leg extended. Reach and lengthen. And here's a release. One more each side. Reach. And release. Last one. With the knees towards the right. The left arm reaching away. Slowly move back in a center position. Roll over on your front, keeping that small pillow underneath your forehead. Open your legs, about hip distance apart. Gently tilt the pelvis underneath. Move the shoulders away from your ears so you're going to have a nice long neck and your arms around your head about 90 degrees angle. And we're going to start floating the left forearm away from the ground, and then lower, right forearm away from the ground, and then lower. A few more. The left and lower. Left. And lower. Great job. Try with the head rotation, looking underneath your forearm on the left and same on the right side. Perhaps opposite leg, joining to this movement. Little twist. Lower down. Exhale. And inhale. And one more. Each side. Either version with or without the lag or the twist. And then ease and release. Good. Reach the right arm, left arm forward. Line of your spine till the pelvis. And float the opposite arm and lag away from the ground. Lower back down. Lift. With the exhalation, inhale, lower. One more each side, lift and lower, last one, and lower, good, slide the palms a little closer next to your hand, then push yourself up, forearms parallel to each other, moving the shoulders away from your ears, gently backwards, open up the chest towards the front, and slowly lie back down on your tummy again. Tilt the pelvis, push back up. You might need to shuffle your hands a little further forward or backwards to find the right position. Pull the shoulders gently, tilt the pelvis, so support your lower back, then lie back down. We're going to have two more here. Push yourself up and away from the ground. Look in between your hands. And lower back down. The last one here. And then ease and release. Great job. Let's slide the palms underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes under, push yourself back up into all fours, run your back and shift the weight over your heels into child position. Take a deep inhalation here, long exhalation, then roll forward your back in a c-shaped calf position then extend your back relax your feet and cross your right arm over your left forearm reach back 
Inhale, hold. Then slowly move back into center and cross your arms and reach over. Add the way around with the left arm over the right breast. Inhale, hold. Exhale, center. One more each side. Last one. Gentle side stretch. Then open up. Hold that all first position. Gently moving the shoulders away from your ears. Extend your right leg backwards. Tummy engaging. Reach the left arm forward. Then open up your chest towards the left side. Then slowly lower and release. Reach out the way around. Extend and open up towards the right, lower and release. Keep the toes tucked under, a bit of an extra support. You can even float the arm in a vertical position, lower horizontally and down. Then reach forward and backwards and into that rotation. Lower the arm towards the front and down. Let's try one more each side, either version, opening, then release. Last one. Then challenge your bones. You can try to float the leg away from the ground. And continue with that opening movement, rotate, and then release. Make sure that you're safe, centered, and balanced in this position. Let's try one more each side. Eye diversion, adding that rotation. Reach forward and backwards and release. If you feel that you're too wobbly, just simply lower your toes on the ground to gain a bit of an extra support, then ease and release. Great job. Roll over on your side, prop up on your forearms with your elbow underneath your shoulders. Nice, comfortable position, relaxing, and now we're going to push ourselves away from the ground, creating a huge triangle underneath here. We'll reach with the top arm over your head, gentle side bend, then slowly lower the arm around. Same movement, perhaps floating your hips away. Inhale, hold. Then exhale, release. Either version, two more. Repetitions. Inhale, hold. With or without the hips elevating away. Last one. Press the elbow and the lower legs into the ground. Use the lowermost side of your torso as you lift. Good job. Let's push yourself up into a kneeling position to mobilize your back. If you need to, you can cushion your joints using that folded towel or small pillow underneath your knees. Gently tilt the pelvis underneath, open up the upper part of your chest while in the collarbones. Then gently nod your chin in, round your shoulders, mid, and lower back, open up your chest towards the front, reaching the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. So articulate down, nodding the chin in front, open up, roll and extend your back, reach up and over. Imagine like you're in dolphins surfacing up above the water. Good, we're gonna have two more here. Gentle roll. 
opening up, tilting the pelvis one more. And pushing yourself back up. Great job. Let's roll over. And support yourself on your forearms. Relax and then push yourself up and away from the ground. Tummy engaging. And then we're going to circle the top arm around. And gentle side bend. So lifting the upper part of your torso towards the ceiling and then release reach perhaps floating your hips away from the ground then slowly lower back down two more either version inhale hold exhale release last one Inhale, and exhale, release. Great job. Let's roll over again. Push yourself back up into kneeling position. Tilt the pelvis and take a big step forward with your right leg. Tilt, shift the weight forward, adding a nice stretch. And circling the left arm around. Then slowly ease and release. One more. Deep inhalation. Long exhalation here. Tummy engaging. Fold. And take the left leg forward. Till the pelvis. Shift the weight forward. And circle your Right arm around, deep inhalation, long exhalation. One more here. And then slowly lower all around. Great job. Find a comfortable seated position of your choice, perhaps sitting up a little higher using your pillow either crossing or extending your legs or even sitting up on a chair. Drop shoulders away from your ears. Gently nod your chin in towards your neck. Look down, then roll your head over the right shoulder. Release over the left shoulder and release a few times. Right. And then the left, we're going to have one more, hold it over the right, extending the left arm, and release, all the way around, head over the left shoulder, extending the right arm. Let's try one more each side. The arm extension, fingertips walking away from your hips. And release, just enjoy that nice stretch. Make sure it's not causing any discomfort or a pain. Then ease and release, hold it in the middle, nod your chin in, round your back, then open up your chest towards the front, reach forward and upwards with the crown of your head, nice upright position, big circle, roll down, rounding your back, then extend as you reach forward, one more, big circle, open up. And then hold, great job, extending both arms side to side. Circle the right arm around, front of your body, reach over towards the left side. Deep inhalation, then lower the arm, half circle, all the way around. Reach, and release, we're gonna have one more, each side. Last one. Oh, 
hold it in the front, supporting yourself diagonally in front of your body. Extend the back and walk your hands back towards your legs, reaching the arms over your head, deep inhalation, fold, pop your hands behind your head. Shrug the shoulders, drop them away from your ears, reach, and then lower the arms all around. Great job. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this short routine and you can use elements of this routine in your day-to-day -day activities, maybe even in front of a computer. Enjoy. See you next time. Bye. If you enjoyed this class, please like and share this video with others and subscribe to our channel for more workouts like this. We would love to hear about your experience too, so please leave a comment below. Thank you very much. Your feedback means a lot to us. Have a lovely day.